Yo, what up? This is Nick here with Living Rich um, on my multiple week slash month bike ride across the United States. And today I'm gonna be doing a video from the saddle. And it's gonna be a good one. So I just finished reading a book or listening to a book called The Shark's Paintbrush. It's on biomimicry and how it's basically, basically gonna save the world and already is converting industries uh, into more efficient, more happy, um, sustainable entities and how we can go about saving uh, our ecosystem without sacrificing anything. And I love this book. Uh, the author doesn't come off the top of my mind, but if you look it up, I think you'll, you'll be really interested in it. It's an optimistic read, it's, it's feel good, plus it's technical, and it's not like other books where you hear a lot of recycled information. This is some very new, unique information that I haven't heard in other places, and um, it's from this Australian guy who is a naturalist turned um, biomimicry businessman and he is thence, henceforth taken uh, his passion for biomimicry and turned it into multi-million dollar businesses and created new opportunities for himself. Actually, I'll get this back out of my face. Um, so, a few, the book, a few uh, key takeaways from the book. Um, I already mentioned one of them. It's that you, you don't have, we don't have to sacrifice our quality of life in order to achieve the sustainability we need to have a healthy ecosystem. Uh, two, biomimicry, which is basically taking the lessons learned from nature, like the adaptations of all these animals um, and using them is very, very important. And because nature, it, it's not only important, it's also urgent because one, all the animals uh, or a lot of animals are going extinct and it's like they are, he compares them to an encyclopedia of knowledge from which we can draw on to create new technologies and new industries and make our lives more efficient and save all this fossil fuel. Um, and it's important because this information that these animals have has is similar to a research experiment that's been going on for eons for many 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 millions of years since life itself began so that's why this topic is important and it's important for you specifically because this is the way the world is going. And I think it's a future that everybody can be happy with, everybody can be satisfied with, and where everyone can have enough. As well as it's something where you can, you can learn for yourself from. Like you can, you can take this concept of learning from nature and create it and use it to create a, a new business structure or a new product. Uh, or even just in your daily life with your family, you know, you can have like a sustainable household, you can recycle stuff. And extrapolate the gains from nature onward. So a few of the uh, biomimicry examples he gave 
where uh, one in like boating, you have all of this, all these barnacles and bacteria and whatever else that catch onto the bottom of the boat and it slows the drag. He took examples from shark skin where they don't accumulate that drag and there's a company that's adapt, adapt, adapted a paint that mimics the same nano molecules that keep the bacteria and crustaceans off the bottom without the without the having to be very toxic to the environment and having to be reapplied so often and that saves a lot of money a lot of fuel a lot of downtime and everybody wins in that situation except for maybe the initial paint suppliers but they can go the way of the dinosaur, especially because their products suck. Another example uh, are mushrooms. He gives an example of an author, Paul Stamens, who is a professor and an expert on mushrooms. And he, he uh, likens it how they, there is like a, a whole group of different kinds of mushrooms with different uses ranging from pharmaceutical uses to uh, metal stripping uses like within using them to recycle the metals in technology that's been reused to psychedelic and and uh, this is just one way nature is giving us examples of how to use an efficient process with no negative side effects or as today we get a lot of stuff done but oftentimes the side effects of what we get done are just as bad, if not worse, as the initial issue or problem that we're trying to solve. Um, his company is called, the author's company is called PAX, which is a, a fan or a rotating blade company, motor company, uh, that, that creates different kinds of blades and like ways to move water and turbines and stuff that, mo that are more efficient. Um, he also uses he also uses in the book examples from plants like photosynthesis and stuff and how that can be used to uh, create more efficient designs for solar panels. Um, yeah it's a it's a really good book i finished it in, in uh, two and a half days here riding um and it, it kept my attention uh, i'm also very technically oriented or at least that's what interests me and this book was uh a joy to read and I highly recommend you going and picking it up. Again, it's the Shark's Paintbrush. And the reason why, again, is to, to find that upside with no downside. So we can create a good, good great future and take responsibility for the planet um, yeah, and live happy, basically. <laughs> uh, he's also the author. The author is also very experienced in the in the fields because he's an, he's a practitioner of his work. He's gone and created these companies. He's created multiple companies. So he goes into the business side of it. The obstacles that he's come across 
um, throughout his time implementing these different technologies and how he's got around those obstacles and how he's over and how he's either profited from them or found a or failed and he, he he's quite frank with all his like uh, failures and successes uh, I also thought it, thought it was really interesting that he initially started out of, as a fishing games government official and he goes on to tell his story about how he um, was outraged at the selling off and destroying of forest land and decided that he couldn't just be a uh, you know, a meager official anymore and he had to go out and, and do something and take action. And I really, really respected that. Uh, so, again, the book is called The Shark's Paintbrush. Um, I listened to, to it for free on uh, my local library's online audiobook source that I checked out and I uh, hope you go check it out yourself it's a really good book if not hopefully you got uh, some cool ideas from this video and if you like these videos if you like what you see you want to keep track of me during this bike trip you can go subscribe to my channel down below or you can follow follow uh, my buddies and I on our bike trip at uh, tour de America tour de America on Facebook and uh, I look forward to talking to you to you soon peace